Hi, I'm Greg James with Greg James Designs, and today I want to talk to you a little bit about basements in your barn dominium. So today we're talking about basements in your barn dominium. Can you do a basement with a barn dominium? Absolutely you can. So I'm going to talk to you just some things you need to think about in the general philosophy behind putting a basement under a metal building home or pole barn home. So here we go. Okay, so first let's talk about a metal building. Uh, I've created a little diagram here to kind of help you understand. So this is a walk-out basement. A full basement would be generally the same philosophy, same concept, okay, but this is a walk-up basement. So what you have is three sides of a some sort of concrete wall, and we can talk about that in a minute, okay, but we basically have three walls below grade, okay, one, two, three, and then we have this open, so you're built into your hill here, okay, so can you set your building on your basement? Absolutely you can. Now you want to have your structural engineer uh, do all the plans and the engineering for the basement. But yes, you can set your building. We like to use uh, a wire truss type system or uh, Worldwide Steel Buildings does a good job. And I think there's another company called Miracle Trust. They do a good job. The reason being is the straight downward load onto the walls. Okay. okay, so what I mean about the downward load, well, on this side over here, I want you to see this. This is the cross-section view of this, okay? So this is a typical metal building, or let's say an I-beam building, okay? So you have your basement walls here, okay, here and here. You have your building sitting on top of your wall, okay? Well. The building wants to spread apart at the bottom. It's kind of its natural tendency because you have this frame here that is clear span, so there's nothing. Uh, nobody wants pipe supports in the middle of their house, okay? So everything we design is clear span all the way across, and all open space. So what you have is you have a steel column here, steel column here. You have your rafters. These are all bolted together or welded. Well, the difference is when the when you push down here, these frames want to spread out like that, okay? Well, obviously, how do you remedy that pressure right here pushing out against these walls? So that's something you have to think about, okay? So in a typical I-beam building, that's a bit of a problem. Now, they can... If we look over here, here's your steel frame shooting across here. It's pushing down here and here, but in our situation scenario here, it's wanting to push out. So how do we remedy that? Well, one thing you can do is you can create a pier here. And so this, the wall, it would have to bump out where each one of these frames sit to counter that action where it's wanting to spread out. But if you can have a metal building system where your weight and your weight distribution, your point load, is straight down, again, on top of the wall, better, then it's not as big a deal. You can just literally attach your steel columns right to the top of your concrete wall and you're in good shape. Now, what if you want to do a traditional I-beam building, okay, that's where a rigid frame building, so your, your steel columns can be anywhere from 8 to 14 inches deep depending on the span of the building. All, all these dimensions totally depend on the load, your snow load, wind loads, how wide this building is, okay? If this building is really wide, this steel right here is going to get really big because it's got a span all the way across. <clears throat> now, we always like to keep our columns straight. That way, when you frame up, you don't have a column sticking out into the wall in your house. Uh, it's just easier that way. So, anyway, one thing you can do now here we're going. I want to talk to you a little bit about a pole barn. What if you want to set a pole barn on a foundation? 
Let's discuss that. Okay, this similar scenario. Let's say you have a post and frame building or pole barn, okay? You're going to set your columns every either 10 feet or 8 feet, depending on where you are in the country. Once again, your snow loads, wind loads, all that sort of thing. Well, it's really easy with a basement because you, you do a basement wall. You literally, you can just bolt your post. You use the U-shaped saddle, and then you can just bolt your post right down to the top of your basement wall. It's super simple. So it's really no different than a normal home. Posts are attached to the top of the wall, you're good to go. Because in a post and frame building, reason being, you have a truss. So you got that action going there, see? You got your webbing. So your load is going straight down, okay? It's the same thing with a welded rafter um, uh, steel system. Your load is not spreading out. It's going straight down. The way they design those rafters and the dimension of the rafter and all that sort of thing where it connects to the steel here, the load is transferring straight down the column like this. So you just have point load here and here. You don't have this spread action happening. So, uh, bottom line, yes, you can put a basement under um, your barn dominium. We do it all the time. We do a lot of basements. <clears throat> what we do is we just call out the dimension of the basement, and then we have a structural engineer follow that up with the actual uh, structural plans of the basement. Now, in the next video, we'll talk to you about some different type basement walls you can use. We'll go over those real quick, okay? So in conclusion, yes, you can put your barn dominium on a basement. Not a problem. You can either do a full basement or a walk-up basement, or even we've had clients do partial basements. So you can do a combination. So not a problem. Feel free to give us a call. We do barn dominiums all day, every day, and we love doing it. We'd love to help you.